See the abuse I have to put up with. Look, checking everyone. Right. 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 Just checking. Boss. Right. Is there an officer? No, I've been manager. Yeah. Did you get that you on the tape? Can't see that. Yeah, Chum. 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 See, this is, see, this is what happens, yeah? Every picture I take is authorised by the team. So they have to approve? They have to approve, yeah, every picture. Right, guys, come on. Are we ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Where's yeah. Howard? Perfect. Right. Perfect. 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 <laughs> Hilarious, well funny. Get on the stage. Right, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> 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 yeah, just wait a minute. Just, just that made me six years back quicker. I remember when you sweat me. Okay, okay. <laughs> mate, you fucking just fly out. Come on. <laughs> and I'd like to uh, welcome my first two guests, Jason and uh, Colton. The star of the show, right? Truly, this is this is um, someone that all of us can learn off of, right? Definitely, Robert man. Manchester. Yeah, Howard, Sir Howard, <laughs> fucking. <man. laughs> photo shoot at quarter past two. He turned up at five. <laughs> but I'm not. He's the only couple that lives in Wales, and we must have it right. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you, you, you are known as the most sophisticated drug baron of all time. How oh, feel about that? Deeply disturbed. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of sophistication used in the, some of the methods, you know, for sure. But uh, I couldn't remember. The sophisticated ones didn't get caught, did they? No, no, but I'm just saying, like, like in, all of our, in all of our professions, you couldn't actually do what you do, what you've done then, today. You understand no, what I mean? Like, you know, no, like, no. like, when you've got the football people, got to beat the surveillance cameras, I've got to beat the, cameras, mm -hmm. to beat the fucking police with a machine gun, it's and you've got the fucking... The, the, the passports of the trackers in it and all that, you know, like how many times did you change your identity and... Passive. Forty odd times, yeah. No, Forty I mean, fucking times you changed your identity. That's a lot of marks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no. where, well, where, where, when you called him out, I would have knocked that. It's not because he don't know what his fucking, how many chances he's had, it's because he don't know how many is the <laughs> I actually fancy my chances because I know people like them too. What do you think I'm a fucking barman? Fuck me, I'm missing that. Don't worry about the start of the show, you're going to be out. You're going to be English, do you have a drink? Yeah, don't worry. That's got me. I've actually got in that well known through people I've known, right? But how has actually been friends with the Mafia, the IRA, MI6, CIA, you know what I mean? Ex explain, explain that. Well, they each have had different explanations. Well, then we'll yeah. sit there and listen to the fucking lot. Okay. Thanks for your I'll tell you, we'll whack them up and we'll have a right on chat. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I think if you, you know, I did get to, to quite high ranks, I suppose, in the profession of dope smuggling. I was near the top of it. And I think if you get near the top of any business, you'll come across the Mafia. You know, I mean, it's not just restricted to crime, in fact. I mean, uh, there's, uh, because at the top, there is no difference between crime and non-crime, as far as I can see. Uh, so you do run across the Mafia. And in particular, the, uh, the family of the day uh, ran across... Uh, Controlled Queens, okay, which is where the Kennedy Airport uh, happened to be in. It's fucking handy, isn't it? No, it's a very fucking handy. Because <laughs> <laughs> the mob, right? I mean, the mob was sort of like stealing videos coming from Japan and everything and making money like that. And they hadn't thought of just bringing in dope, you know. And when they did think of it, they went out to Pakistan and places like that, caught the fucking shit, couldn't handle it, you know. It's, it's not the sort of old person's game, especially if you're used to pasta and things. So, so they needed hippies, right, to go to Nepal and Pakistan and send them a load of dope. Now, they're not the sort of person people you cheat anyway, right? So I was very honest with them. And of course, I couldn't if I wanted to, because they would keep like 25% of the pasta that came in. So there's no way they could lose. You know, I'd sell the other three quarters, then I'd give them the money for, for the 25% that was, that was left. So I made loads of fucking money. I mean, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously we get on with each other very well. You never spend it on clothes and aircraft. <laughs> I left that to them. <laughs> yeah. The rest, you know what I mean? Come on, man. Uh, what was the next one on the list? Yeah, all right. Bless him. Yeah, my throat is dry, my dear. Acceptable amount of juice. 
<laughs> I, have, I swear, I must say this. Every time I go out with him, I go, what are you having? Goes, what are you having? I go, what are you having? Fucking hell, he enjoys anything, this guy. He takes anything and drink anything, it's true. Good, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 38th time and moving along. <laughs> Again, 